Hi, I'm John Feig, and I'm here to talk to you about Health Connect, a new way of sharing health data on Android. There are many, many health and wellness apps available that each offer unique functionality. Different people have different combinations of these apps and use them to achieve their health and wellness goals. This may involve interacting with these apps across multiple screens that in turn talk to multiple measuring devices. It's a lot of data about an individual, which is somewhat helpful on its own, but is more useful when the signals from different sources can be combined and correlated. Wouldn't your users love the deeper insights you could offer if you could connect all the data that is meaningful to them? Health Connect enables them to simply connect and share data between apps. It enables users to manage and control their health and fitness data from a central location and stay in control of which apps are allowed to write and which apps are allowed to read various types of data. Health Connect is just such a solution. Health Connect provides an API for accessing health and wellness data stored on device across Android. It provides a standardized data schema with granular user permission controls and offers centralized privacy and data management controls. Let's take a look at how we get users set up with Health Connect. Since this is a bit of a new model for exchanging data on Android, we're asking developers to promote Health Connect via promo cards within their UI of their app or notifications to highlight the feature to users. It's helpful to let users know about the additional insights they can gain by sharing their data. As a note, you must check if Health Connect is available and installed. However, the long-term goal is to have Health Connect pre-installed. Now we're ready to set up your app with Health Connect. For this, you will need to request read and or write permissions for the data types that you'd like to interact with. Users can also revoke permissions within Health Connect. Your app may write data into Health Connect. Your app may read data out from Health Connect. Users can delete data in Health Connect. As a note, apps reading the data and storing it locally will need to handle updates and deletions. In this section, we'll review how to get started integrating Health Connect into your app. Users will need a relatively modern version of Android, and your app will need to have a min SDK set to 26. Health Connect itself requires at least API level 28. You'll want to make sure that you have Health Connect installed. Next, add the Health Connect SDK dependency to your build.gradle file. Here, we're adding a query to our Android manifest to allow your app to check to see if Health Connect is installed or not. Then, we check to see if Health Connect is supported and installed. If it is, then we'll request a reference to a Health Connect client object. If Health Connect isn't available, then you can run a couple of additional checks to see if Health Connect is supported or if it should be installed. If Health Connect needs to be installed, here's some code that you can use to help users go through the installation flow. Thanks for watching along with this introduction to Health Connect. We will need a couple more videos about permissions management and reading and writing data to get you to a completed integration. So keep an eye out for those. And remember to like and subscribe.